All right, Scott, so it's really simple to cook a whole fish. You really don't have to do fillets or break the fish down. For this particular recipe, I'm going to steam the whole fish, and I'm gonna use something as simple as that old-fashioned vegetable steamer that you can buy at the 99 cent store. Uh, but to make mine a little bit better, I'm going to use some frozen banana leaves. Um, they're really simple, you just pull it out of the freezer, and then you wanna take the whole leaf and cut it down to size, and wipe off anything that's on the outside. The whole fish that we're using today is a sculpin. We have gutted the fish. We've also removed the spines that run along the top of the fish and along the belly as well. I'm next going to make a couple of scores that go through the skin, but not too deep through the flesh. What this is going to allow for is a little bit of flavor to infuse into the fish as opposed to just sitting on the outside. So I'm gonna flip it over and score the opposite side. We're going to stuff the cavity with a bit of lemongrass, ginger, and cilantro stems. For the lemongrass, I wanna cut it into smaller pieces. For the center cuts, which has the most amount of flavor, I take the back of my knife and I break it up just a little bit. And my easy tip for ginger is just to take a regular kitchen spoon and peel the skin off the outside. Once you peel your ginger, you're just gonna slice it into rounds. Now the cilantro stems, the top of the cilantro, we took some of the leaves off and we'll be using that for garnish. So now we've got all of our beautiful aromatics in the fish, which is gonna make it beautiful and flavorful. And we're gonna place it into the steamer. So we've now had about 12 to 15 minutes, depending on the size of your fish. Place it right onto our platter. And then I've got this lovely sauce that I made. And I'm gonna spoon that right over the fish. So this is a spicy, sweet and sour Thai sauce. We started with our shallots, our garlic, and our red jalapeno, and a pinch of salt. We pureed that just to break them all up so they weren't big chunks anymore. I then added into that uh, fish sauce, lime juice, and grated palm sugar. We added that in, pureed it to make kind of a loose paste, and then we add in cilantro. We'll season with a bit of salt and pepper, and then we can always add more sweet, sour, or salty as we'd like. I like to thoroughly coat the fish in sauce. Once I have the sauce all over the fish, I'm of course going to garnish with that remaining cilantro that we talked about. And then of course some lime wedges. The lime wedges work as a beautiful garnish, but it's also really nice to have that fresh citrus with your fish. So whether it's this ugly sculpin, small striped bass, freshwater fish, saltwater fish, any real catch of the day will work for this.